so here we are at um, Walmart again and I'm getting ready to do a new build project um, just to keep me busy as well as to try to keep viewership going for the channel um, we're having uh, vehicle issues uh, my van issues for those of you who've been following along so I haven't been able to really uh, take trips and, and do tours and things like that because uh, the vehicle's like drinking um, gasoline like there's no end. So I'm here to pick up some duct tape. And I'm getting a, a value pack, three of them. So it's 150 um, millimeters. This is, um, I'm hoping, going to be enough. If not, I'll come up and pick up some more. And I'm going to pick up some twine. They actually have also the duct tape here, but I'm going with the... Um, the original strength. They have a thing called basic strength, which I don't think is really that... I think it's weaker than this. And for three of them, it would cost a little bit less than this, but it says original strength, and I think it has more... I mean, not more, but it's stronger, even though it costs a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and go with these. But we're going to be um, building a project, which I'm going to leave a surprise for right now. I'm looking for some twine. I don't know where the twine is. Maybe I should ask. Alright, I'm currently in the camping section looking for twine and I see some paracord. But um, I'm not going to use paracord. Although I suppose you could rip these paracords apart and pull out the um, strings in there. What I'm looking for specifically is cheap twine. You may have to go to the Dollar Tree to get it. I'm going to check with Walmart here. But we are going to build something that I think might be um, interesting, to say the least. So, here I am at Walmart, trying to get materials to build the yurt. And I didn't want to spend a lot of money and stuff. I was looking for twines here in the um, camping section. I had already picked up a um, some duct tape. And we're just going to get the twine to build the yurt. Then I stumbled upon these canopies. Now, I had looked at tents and stuff like that. Here are like some tents that are already set up. Look at that. It's a 14 by 14 foot lighted canopy. But it's $159. And some big tents here. You can get a complete tent here for 100 bucks. And you might be wondering what I'm doing here. Um... I am contemplating building a yurt out at the hut. If not a yurt, another type of structure that's semi-permanent. Because with my current situation, um, and seeing how useful Camp Freedom 2 has been, I'm, I'm thinking of expanding the camp, since I can't really travel and stuff. And I'd like to um, give something interesting for the viewers. So... I suppose if you really wanted to live out in the woods, you could just get a tent and do it. Maybe even a big, huge tent like this. Look at this 10-person family tent. But um, I think that would be the easy way. <laughs> and uh, what a normal person might do. Here's a 12-person cabin tent for 150 bucks. You could have a cabin tent. And that actually looks pretty, pretty dang good. It's um, huge, actually. Has mosquito netting and everything. Hmm. Things to ponder. But what has really caught my eye are these canopies. There's one here for 47, 46, 47 dollars, but it's a 10 by 10. But there's a really nice looking one here. That's $74. It's a 13 by 13. That I'm contemplating as using as the basis of my hut or yurt or whatever. Um, it may be cheaper and better to go with a full blown tent though. Let me think about this. All right. After assessing the situation, thinking about it, I think this um, canopy here 
It's that 13 foot by 13 foot instant canopy. It says it can go up in three minutes. It would actually allow construction of a semi-permanent structure um, fairly rapidly. But given my um, financial situation, and also for viewer interests, I think I'm going to build a yurt from scratch. I'm not going to use the um, canopy or a tent, a prefabricated unit, to build a survival structure out there. Having one of these would certainly, having a tent, you just put it up and you're pretty much done. <laughs> I don't think it would be interesting to watch that. <laughs> Having this canopy here though, it's only 74 bucks to um, turn it into a yurt or a structure similar to that would be interesting to watch. But I think building one completely from scratch using nothing but um, base, well, not nothing. I've got to use this. This is obviously store-bought. But I'm going to work with very minimal equipment as um, the channel, I think, has um, pretty much always been about survival. And um, now I'm thinking of building a semi-permanent structure out there just for fun as well as practice and um, seeing what I can actually do. So stay tuned.